Hello everyone, welcome back. And in this session, I am going to discuss about the working of a hydro power plant. Hydro power plant or a hydro power plant we will call, where the potential energy of the water is converted into a electrical power. And how that is converted? That is by using the hydro power plant. And that I am going to discuss here. And here the first this three dimensional the diagram with that we can discuss and later the 2D sketch also we will discuss and after the animation also we are going to see that one. Here whenever the water is stored at a certain height it will have the potential energy in it. Potential energy. And when it is allowed to flow then the potential energy will be converted into a kinetic energy and during the flow it will be having the both kinetic and pressure energy and the, at the entrance of the turbine okay, depending upon the type of the turbine what we are going to use okay, that uh, both pressure and kinetic energy may be converted into mechanical energy or the kinetic energy first it is converted by using the nozzle and then it is converted into mechanical energy that is about the how the energy conversion will be taking place. For that, what the arrangements are required. Here natural whatever the flow of the water is there through the river that is stopped by using the dam. The dam is a wall constructed in order to stop the water and store the water in the reservoir. Now whatever the stored water is there that we will call as the reservoir. Then whenever the water is stored in the reservoir then it will have the certain uh, head the vertical distance of the water it is called as head then it will have the certain head and that as the head is increases the potential energy increases then that potential energy will be converted into that electrical energy we need to convert Whenever there is a flowing of the water, it consists of the total sum of the energy that is a potential energy, kinetic energy, pressure energy. At any section, if you take the total energy as same, the sum of the potential energy, kinetic energy and pressure energy at this session and that is equal to at this session means one form of energy will be converted into other form. Here the potential energy is more and while flowing it will convert it into kinetic energy then here it will be converted into a, that pressure energy or a kinetic energy like total energy it will be there but the, if you take the sum at any section it will be remains same or a constant then the stored water whatever is there in the reservoir that is connected to the turbine turbine is the device which converts the kinetic energy of the flowing fluid into a mechanical energy and there are two types of turbines mainly that is the impulse turbine if the energy available at the inlet of the turbine is kinetic energy only then we will call it as a impulse turbine and the energy available at the inlet of the turbine both pressure and kinetic energy then we will call as a reaction turbine example for the impulse turbine is the Pelton turbine and for the reaction turbine we will our examples are Francis turbine and Kaplan turbine and turbine is the prime mover the prime mover means which generates the mechanical rotary energy and this prime mover turbine generate producing the mechanical rotary energy and there it generator electrical generator we are going to convert the electrical generator where in the fixed magnets there is a rotary component the magnetic field is cut by the rotary that is a, a, a rotor then the electricity will be generated then electricity generated what is there that will be used using the transformer that will be converted and from that trans powerhouse it will be distributed to the required space then after this one the flowing of the uh, converting the energy the whatever the low here Head energy is the low head fluid is there that is discharged to the tail race that is discharged to the tail race that one 
and whatever this connection pipe is there between the dam and the turbine that will call as a penstock the penstock it is a particular that is a, a line which connects between the dam and the that turbine and here at the intake whatever the fluid is entering the some strainers are provided in order to eliminate any debris present in that one or something that is uh, wood or some particles may be present that may not be allowed and the gate will control whatever is there the flow rate may be controlled depending upon the power generation this is about how we can see that is what is how the water power present in the water will be converted into electricity and here line diagram by using also we can see here it is a reservoir the water is stored in this one and this is due to the dam construction the dam is a wall which is constructed in order to store the water of the flowing river then here the line will be connected the surge tank that means in order to avoid the, the back pressure the surge tank is used and valve control it will be there there is a valve control house only used at that one and then the pipeline whatever con connects this one that will call as a pen stop which uh, connects the that is water flow from the dam to the power house in the power house in the turbine runs then the turbine is connected to the electrical generator then electricity will be generated and this will be discharged to the tail trace this is about the working of the hydro power plant then next we will take that is how the flowing will be taking place this animation the simple animation where i can see the similarities there is from the reservoir the water will be flowing here and that enters into the turbine in the turbine the turbine blades rotates and that connected to the generator the electricity generates and from that power house through the power lines it will be distributed to the that grids and this outflow of the water that will be flowing to the that tail race then what are the different parts are there okay the components of the hydel power plant that we can briefly discuss here the reservoir the reservoir water from the natural body like a river is stored in the reservoir the reservoir is built at a level higher than that of the turbine because we need the whatever the head required for the operating the turbine that is a vertical distance we need not have the potential energy the dam the flow of the water stored in the reservoir is obstructed by huge walls of the dam okay the flow of the water whatever is there that is obstructed that is stored in the dam by, uh, in the reservoir by using the wall that's called as a dam this prevents the water from the flowing and helps us harness the energy present in it okay for the harnessing the energy from the flowing water this dam helps dam consists of a gate present at its bottom which can be lifted to allow the flow of the water through them the gates are provided now to flow the control the flow of the water most of the hydropower plant rely on the dam and holds back water creating a, a large reservoir the most of the power plants what are there which generates the electricity from this uh, hydel okay that will be depends upon the dam next one is a penstock this connects the reservoir with the turbine propeller and runs in downward inclined manner the inclined the flow line it is the pipe line it is when the gates of the dam are lifted the force of the gravity makes the water flow down through the penstock and reaches the blades of the turbine as the water flows through the penstock the potential energy of the water stored in the dam is converted into kinetic energy then next one is turbine the kinetic energy of the running water turns the blades of the turbine okay that is a kinetic energy due to the virtue of its velocity that is the kinetic energy the virtue of position that will be potential energy the virtue of pressure the it is a pressure or energy the turbine can be either pelton wheel or centrifugal type the pelton wheel it is impulse turbine centrifugal type it may be francis or kaplan tur turbine the turbine has a shaft connected to the generator from the turbine shaft is connected to the generator the most of the common type of turbine for hydro power plants is the francis turbine okay here the pelton turbine works at a high head low flow rate and francis turbine works at a low head low flow rate that means 
high head means vertical distance is a higher one and flow flow rate of the water will be lower than pelton turbine we can use if the medium head is there if that and medium flow rate of the water is there then francis turbine we can use that's why in the most of the whatever the power plants the flow rate is also we are going to get the medium and also we are going to get the medium head that's why the we are going to use the francis turbine the kaplan turbine then the classification there it works uh, at a low head and a higher discharge one at the 7 to 8 meters of the head that kaplan turbine works next one is the generator a shaft runs from the turbine to the generator and the blades of the turbine rotate the motor shaft turns the uh, turns the rotor the the shaft turns the rotor is the rotor which produces electric current in the generator gained magnets rotate the fast copper coils producing alternate current okay that uh, magnets whatever are the the uh, rotate fast that is copper coils and due to that one the electricity in the form of alternate current will be generated then last one power lines the power lines means which is the distribution of the electricity generated that is the power line the power produced in the generator is sent to various power distribution stations through the power lines the various power distribution centers that is the power grid set will be supplied this is about the how the this uh, idle power plant works thanks for watching subscribe comment and share my videos and watch some other video my videos thanks for again